at 21 feet, five inches, 4,150 pounds. If you've been looking for that entry level RV for the couple that likes to camp cook, but also go see America the safest way possible, I think I'm standing in the RV for you. Welcome to the Keystone Hideout 174 RK. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young standing inside the all new Keystone Hideout 174 RK. Now this is a rear kitchen model, 21 feet, five inches long, roughly 4,100 pounds dry. And it's a single axle slide RV. Now sure, this thing will sleep four people, maybe five if you got the kids because of the dinette, but this is a couple's coach. Because if you take a look around, we just do a spin real quick. You'll notice that there's really no separation of space. This is for that active camp couple that wants to get out and cook, but also because of the windows and the placements, you get to see some great panoramic views of our beautiful country. What's unique about this 174 RK is this campsite kitchen. You'll notice you have one, two over 40 inch windows right here on the campsite, allowing you not only some great light, but also some good breeze. Match that to this Albany decor that we have inside with the pressed surface countertop here. Gone is the T-mold that most entry level RVs are known for. You get this pressed surface countertop, as decorative, as rustic looking. Added to that, the beautiful white shaker style cabinets with the matte black pulls. Good spot for your trash can or a good grab and go spot right there come around, you have more storage here. Now, the great thing about the RVs is it's it's your RV. So if you want to use that as pantry storage, ward storage, grab and go, fishing, tackle, hunting, whatever, it's your RV, use it however you want to use it. But with Keystone, you're going to get quality construction all the way around. Everything from their color-coded wiring to their solid wood construction, even here in the drawers. Full extension with the ball bearing drives, once again, that beautiful white flat front with the matte black, really bringing in a modern but rustic style decor to this 174 RK. 20,000 BTU furnace right there under the sink. You also have a 13.5 BTU Coleman Mach AC with the filters right here. Come over back to the kitchen and you'll see this is your control center uh, for this 174 RK. Got your lights, your slide, and your awning controls. And you also come with the Boss Audio System speaker box. So this is great because you can Bluetooth in, it's loud, but when you're ready to go hiking, remember how I said this is for the active couple, just throw that in your backpack, go rock and roll. High rise faucet here into your single basin sink. You got the Suburban two burner cooktop, plus some more prep and our storage space over here, as well as the storage shelf and the Greystone flush mounted microwave with the storage shelf up top. Good prep space in this unit. I gotta tell you, I would do all the prepping right here, probably some of the storage over here. I would make this my coffee station um, because if you notice, because of the way the wall cuts and you have the lip right here, this is a little bit of a weird kind of storage area, but it is nice to have because the kitchen now extends the entire length of the wall over here. So it's not really cut off or you know, recessed or junky. You just have this pretty cool little nutch back here that gets you some extra space. And you'll notice that a lot of the outlets have this yellow sticker on it that says inverted solar. That's because the 22 models with Keystone, this 174 RK included, comes with the Solar Flex 200 watt roof mounted solar panel on it. Now, what's great about that is with that 200 watts, you can run the lights on this RV. You can even upgrade it uh, all the way up to, I believe it's like 1200, like you can go 400, 600, 12, whatever. You can upgrade it to the point where you get a lithium battery, that where that lithium battery will run your AC off of the power of the sun. How cool is that? Now, the decor, that Albany, that matte black, matches right over here into your Dometic fridge freezer combo. Six cubic feet of space in this one. This is the gas electric art, uh, fridge with the automatic switch. Good little space for those long weekend getaways. Got your fuse box down there. Another little storage drawer right here under my suburban two burner cooktop. Come over here is where I got my HVAC controls for my 20,000 BTU furnace, as well as my convenience center. So if you wanna cut on your water pump, your water heater, because you do have that six gallon DSI bypass on this one, as well as check your batteries, your fresh tank and your gray tank, you can do that all from right here at the convenience center. Beautiful light, 
on dark features. I really like how last year the RV manufacturers started incorporating more of that aesthetic into the RVs, making it more appealing. So now, flash forward a year, they're, they're more bright, more dark, even better meshing of the two. Walk into my rear off-camp bath. You'll see you got the high-rise plastic bowl with the foot flush here. Solid countertop with more storage space there, as well as a single basin sink. A mirror so I can check my her. Got the powered vent and fan right there. And my single shower surround. Now, here's where things get a little cramped. So you got 80 inch high ceilings in here anyway. But me being 6'2", I am a little cramped when it comes to the shower. But I got good elbow room left and right. Got my little notch right here for my soap. As well as my shower controls with hot and cold. Got a little storage spot under the sink too. I'll tell you, good, good little space inside this 174 RK. Beautiful flooring too. This is upgraded flooring, easy to clean and slip resistant. But now we come to the spot where the reconnection happens. So you have the raised booth dinette on the slide and we had the, the, the table down so you could see you know what the bed looks like. But when it's in the booth mode, you'll see, look at how this almost gray topish decor on the cushions flows with the floor and the rest of this coach. The designers did a good job of making it look good. Plus you got some storage drawers underneath. If you need them there, nice little use of space. Got the carpeted raised slide here. So you just got to watch your head because these slides are only about five foot, eight inches in height of clearance. Got the large window with the solid wood balance there. And when you're ready to make this a bed, push it down and there you go. So if you like to kind of curl up when you sleep, this could easily get one, maybe two adults because this is, this is how my wife and I sleep. You know, we kind of spoon and do kind of that curl up position. But if you sleep like a starfish, all sprawled out, not for you. You're going to want to sleep in the master bed. Or if you got kids, it's a good space for them. But when you're sitting there at the booth dinette and you're looking out at the beach, the mountains, the lake, whatever, you're reconnecting, you're making those memories, and you're doing it in your home. You've taken your home with you. Come over to the master area, and this is where things kind of get cool with this 174 RK. You got the fold over couch right here with the fold down cup holder in the middle. Another great spot if I want to watch TV, I got my LCD TV mounting bracket right there, as well as my cable and my satellite connections. And once again, you got one of those inverted outlets there. So you could power the TV from the solar panel as well. Just always got to check TV as well as power usage. Will the 200 work or do you need the 400? Always talk to your specialist about that if that's something you want to do. But you got the leatherette sofa right here and the Murphy bed behind. So if you wanted to make this a bed, instead of the old fashioned jackknife sofa, check out my fold over. Almost like what you see in the toy haulers. Got the little leg right there that comes down. Boom. Now you got a sleeping space here if you wanted it. Or you got the decorative Murphy bed. You notice how they made that, you know, matte black fi uh, finishing flow with the rest of the coach. So if I want to pull this down and make it a bed, just release the lever, which we already did to make it a little bit easier. Bring this down. And here I have my fold out high density foam mattress. Boom. A certain mattress, queen size big enough to sleep two people easily. And I got cubby space over here for nightstand space. Plus I got dual USB charging and inverted outlets on both sides. Storage lip up top, ward storage on both sides. Plus I got me some drawer storage on both sides as well. Hop on over there, Maddie, and check that out. So with this 174 RK, the hideout, Keystone really did a good job of maximizing the flow and the space. You'll see right there, we're also pre-wired for that 4G LTE extension. A lot of RVs were coming with that today. And I, I got to tell you, it's a great service to get that little wine guard service, the extender, because if you need to stay connected while on the road, that's the way to do it. Clean, efficient, good use of space, and not cramped for a 21-foot, 5-inch RV, roughly 40, let's just call it 4,200 pounds, it's 4,150. Um, man, they did I. Right. But we've seen it inside this 174RK. Let's go take a look at what they got on the outside. 
So here we're on the outside of the all-new Keystone Hideout 174 RK. You're going to start right up front. You see my running lights leading me to my Superflex roof going over the top. You got the little mini diamond-plated rod guard here on the bottom, all seated on that welded six-inch aluminum frame. You got the 20-pound LP tank, hand crank here, rails from a battery box. And like I had mentioned, we got that 200-watt solar flex panel on top. Great for running the lights, the whole nine, but I always recommend, if you can, get the additional panels because you got the 10 amp quick connect here that really comes in handy, especially to trickle charge that battery whenever you're out and don't have power. Finished off storage right here, you'll see it's passed through. We also have our solar charge controller to let you know what status the battery is in when you do have it set to charge, but this is finished off and matches the decor of the rest of that Albany decor inside. Plastic clip with my anti-slam luggage doors. The only thing I wish Keystone would do with the hideouts is give me the cover over the hinge. I mean, sure, we don't have the white down here, but it's just a nice little feature. Nobody wants to see that red rust all over their hinges. 12 volt edge awning here with the LED light strip and the adjustable pitch. You'll also notice under, underneath, if you can, you do have an enclosed underbelly on this one. It's a one piece poly sheet under there that really does help kind of keep the bottom of this coach and the tanks protected. Got the two solid steps by Lippert leading into the master here. And another great feature they started adding a couple of years ago, uh, cause some competitors had the leash latch on their RVs. So having Keystone add the little leash latch there for security, cause when the pets are running around the campground, you wanna make sure they're safe and secure as well. You notice we got the solar outlet here, which means this would run off of that 200 watt panel that's on top, sealed safety glass all the way around this one. Single axle on this 174 RK2. So that's the Dexter Easy Lube axle there on the steel rim. Got the back of your furnace, your water heater, and a nice little addition for this year, a little extra grab and grow spot. So good thing for the storage right there. Plus you got another solar in there. I mean, really, I guess if you wanted to, you could set up some outside entertainment here. Um, you know, plug in the boom box, run a TV cord out the window if you wanted to. But like the light and the dark, like we had on the inside, really making these more aesthetically pleasing this year. Rear stabilizer jacks on this one, cause you are 21 feet, five inches on this coach. So no front stab jacks other than what we have at the tongue. You got the rear manual stab jacks on the back, four by four sewer hose storage, spare tire mounted on the back. Here's the back of that Dometic fridge with the condensation hose. And you'll see we're also camera ready. Uh, another great feature when you're buying this one to tell your specialist at Camping World or Gander, hey, can I get the backup camera put in? This one's pre-wired and ready to go for you. Got your 30 amp cord ready to go in. Cable connection there. Come around to the off camp side and right here, we got our main terminations or our dumps. You got the black tank and the gray tank denoted by the handles. Now this one has a 27 gallon fresh and dual 30s, 30 gallon gray, 30 gallon black. Speaking of gray and black, check out the graphics, man. They just, RVs are just looking better these days. You remember it used to be a lot of them were brown on brown. They were just bajank. Now they look really good. Got the worm groove slide here, the true fit, which Keystone has another great exclusive that they do. It's really just maximizes the space of the slide going into the RV and minimizes components, moving it in and out. You do that, you minimize stuff that can break. Something you wanna think about when you're buying your RV. Come around here, you get your city water connection and your fresh tank fill right here, city water and fresh tank there, as well as the other side of your pass-through storage there. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? For example, unloaded weight on this one, 4,150 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 5,200 pounds. Take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and Gander and say, hey, what does that mean? Cause here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people we need to sleep. Here's where we're gonna go camping. We get that information, we can find the perfect RV for you, hands down. Plus, I mean, if you think about it, you're an active couple, you're looking for that first camper, wanna get up off the ground from tent camping, you need something with some good kitchen prep space, a really cool flow, but you don't need to sleep a lot of people, this 174 RK is right up your alley, especially if you need something under that 5,500 pounds, 21 feet, five inch mark. Half ton, SUV, might be able to get it with this one, but talk to your specialist at Camping World Gander and find out. And while you're at it, leave us some comments down below and let us know what you think about the 174 RK. What'd you like about it? What'd you not like about it? And please, while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a review, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World Gander. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I think I'm gonna go check out that booth down there and catch a nap.
See you soon.